on the rise and you can she already mentioned before Buzz A and also getting a picture. So we'll see how they compete in this situation. But of course I think now we're talking about that Alomar before in the last set. So Menace will be pulling out the Alomar. Alright. No more fun games, we're in for big opponents right here. I think this is a very interesting pick to go with Alf. I definitely do not believe Alf is the strongest doubles character, but I admittedly know next to nothing about the doubles meta, so <laughs> we'll see. I do see there's two grind this matchup, especially with Cloud and Alf. So they definitely know hitboxes, they know which ones go. They just kind of know the characters in and out. So I won't be too surprised to see how this is able to work out. Obviously, Danny and Maki, number one in, in mid and Memphis, respectively, bring out the tried and true Dan, uh, Wolf and Sora. So, of course, I've always seen Maki being like a massive Sora fan, but I've yet to really be able to see Sora in action. I remember Got when you. first came out, Maki was absolutely excited. Chris is still excited to this day while streaming all Sora, all Kingdom Hearts. So, I'd like to see how the Sora also not just doing double today, but also see Yeah, and I believe I've like only seen Maki play um, Sora in bracket since he's come out. So obviously very committed to this character. Yep. And uh, Danny's taking a little bit of punishment right now. Yeah, and you know, Menno Simas holding down the center stage really well. They both know that they have the hitbox and the strong hit to be able to accept what you and just make the move to this advantage. And that's where the big sword kind of plays in the range game, likes to bait the crowd, but we have such big hitboxes at that point, so we can't really be able to do that. Now, you see Maki and Danny getting split up again, but this time, they're kind of sandwiching in Menos and Moss and getting a, two kills off of it. It honestly seems as if because of Elf, they're trying to like land some of those hits, because Moss is just able to recognize those situations, being a phenomenal right. team player, and as a result, they've just yet to really get to lose too much. Actually, my apologies, Danny not getting the kill on Moss until just now, or Menos, rather. So now we're at two apiece. Scary look situation, but I'm back off. Ooh, I like that. It was a great uh, recognition there from Menos and Moss to see that, you know, Maki was busy off stage and take the opportunity to take out Danny. Now, very scary situation. Go to number one seed. Hey, Maki Boss, you gotta get together at this point. They're doing such a good job at splitting you guys apart. At that point, your damage is stacking up higher and higher and higher. Ooh, okay. Maki slotting them both off stage now. So now Danny and Maki with the whole stage playlist. Ooh, oh, almost got that back though again. And it seems as if that, that up smash in general is kind of being do a good point. It does linger a pretty long time and just in general will be able to get to lob up both those grabs. Very strong too, of course. True. They definitely just see that utilize a lot in this matchup. It's uh, deceptively hard. At that point, you see some of those like paper cuts. The hitboxes really don't lie. They kind of do lie with it. It's kind of similar to like Pyro or Mithra with regards down to sort of those hit, some of those sounds just don't make it seem as if they're hitting as hard as they are. I feel like every time I hear Pyro, it's like it. doof, <laughs> doof. But now Maki's in the one v one, but one stock apiece for. Okay, they need to start getting a plan together because they're kind of just running in. Yeah, uh, and you know, Maki was sandwiched there, but they didn't really do anything with it. But here we go. Now something can start getting going. Now here's the issue with regards to 2v1 scenarios. If you're able to kind of just stay in the center, as long as you don't lose stage control, you're able to do these types of situations. The moment right, you lose right, stage control, go. you're practically in the worst position possible. Just like here, right here. Yeah, so now you have them with full stage control, and you know, that's going to be a great opportunity for Moss to charge up this limit. Especially considering, you know, Sora, a character that wants to stall his recovery a bit. Not much stall happening. Maki is at least able to get stage control. He has to be careful, though. Moss is just waiting for an opportunity for Menace to be in a tight spot to use that limit. Like here. Like yeah, that. And that's a really unfortunate situation there where, you know, Sora, a character where, you know, a lot of his stuff takes a long time since he's got a... You know, use those comp, those chain attacks. Yeah, yeah those are all multi-hits. That's a, a horrible situation right there. I honestly think Maki kind of like hesitated on the floor there too. It's like, do I commit to this? I know for a fact that like, it's just going to be able to get hit with the cross slash. But nice recognition from Maz to just say like, okay, he has to get a stock. He has to lock down at least one of us in this situation. So that's going to be them taking that first game. 
So the OMR Elf team alongside Clouds working off. I think they got at least change up the stage too. They have to find a way to at least get some sense of synergy. I can see Pokemon Stadium working pretty well. They are going to run it back oh. to Hollow oh, Bastion, which this stage, uh, you know, I don't think the stage was necessarily the reason why they lost, but maybe just a lack of synergy and maybe not able to lock down some of the situations. But hey, these are top players in the region and respectfully for a reason. They always have an area of knowing how to adapt and how to change up the game. So we have to see how it goes into a map. This ain't gonna be a 3-0, and we're gonna see how you'll know, guys. Yeah, but here we are with Moss Metal, so stage control. But Danny and Maki both getting onto stage successfully there. Now they're getting past the cloud wall. Now the one thing I was able to watch in general with the guards down the sewer, it is practically impossible to ledge trap that character. As a you said before, trap? It's just like so many ways you could delay your recovery. You could either like change it or maybe go low. Hell, use yeah. the Daga to able at least like hit above the ledge. So at that point, a lot of times you either have to like lock down those options together. Yeah, definitely a very tricky character to um, extend that horizontal advantage state against. Woo! Gonna be trading stocks right there. Still like a decent game with the guards down situation. Yeah, pretty even game here, but now we have Moss without limit. So let's see if they can off that Maki overextending a little bit. Danny not quite ready to bail him out. But oh. now Moss off stage. This should be a kill for the Thundaga. Yes, it is. No, Ooh. not quite. I actually okay. don't like the uses of Thundaga there. If you just went off with the forward there, I was able to take the stop. That has too much like vertical hitbox yeah. to at least be able to get the kill properly. I agree with that, actually. I'm not sure if forward air would have killed there, but it would have definitely set him up in a worse position. Yeah, we'll see about that. But not the worst situation possible. Still five stops a game for both sides. However, Bad situation for Day, trying to get themselves recovery back to stage. Yeah, but Maki able to pressure Menos out of the corner, let his teammate recover, and now that's Moss's stock gone. Danny still on threes. Menos takes a trip under the stage to stall out uh, Moss, Moss dying. I'm liking a little bit of the role that uh, Danny was trying to play there in that situation. He was trying to play the stock tank. However, because of the fact that he's not really approaching too much or like doing too much with regards to those like taking risks, that's resulted in Maki kind of being the big like target for a lot for both Menace and Moon. They've been able to get the stocks off of him properly, which goes to either some of those edge guards or a close range like situation. Yeah, and that's something that you know I noted earlier when uh, Maki kind of went into engage and Danny wasn't there to bail him out, right? Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a bit of that now being one of the issues with this team, but Moss forfeiting that stock, I believe uh, Maki footstooled him. Now, I think it was actually like an accidental air dodge in that oh, situation. Oh, okay. So that's unfortunate with guards down in that. But that's a lucky break for them, actually, so they'll be able to get that situation. So two to two, the score. Actually, Dian Makiba is able with the lead right here, trying to get themselves right in the game. Yeah, and I'm liking what I'm seeing right now from Maki and Danny. You see, you've got Moss and Menos trapped on the right side of the stage and kind of exchanging positions here. Moss and Menos now in a scrap for the center stage. Ooh, they got to get the stock off, though, because at that point, if red team is able to just, like, now knock down. Now we have down. 1v1s on either side of the stage. Ooh. The Thundog again. So you got to watch out here. Uh, Blizzaga, obviously, an extremely broken option. Kill throw. Oh, I like that option. Danny was just waiting for Moss to try to overextend there. Had the F-Tilt waiting perfectly. Or was it just able to lock it down? I like that um, back here for Maki too, because it recreates the 1v1 situation, especially since Danny's not in any real danger of dying from that sp situation specifically. And uh, this is looking a rather dominant for Absolutely. Maki and Danny. I think at that point, Danny Tell playing the stop tank was able to work down. But however, at the end, Danny was able to at least like help out Maki boss in a lot of those situations which he was trying to overextend was able to at least get those stocks off of green team better also was just watching not just himself but also his opponent and his teammate right so in some of those close situations in which Maki was like either about to get edge guarded Danny was just waiting either for an F tool or a good edge guard situation so I just like that play they at least wrecking those situations it's just been able to like get the synergy going and now they're on the board right there yeah I definitely agree that that was the difference in that game you had Danny, you know, coming in clutch for Maki a lot more. And kind of abusing the fact where, you know, Wolf's so dominant on stage, Sora's a bit more dominant off stage. Mm -hmm. Playing their character roles a little bit better. Yeah, I like so that. Now we have Menos switching to the Bayonetta. Okay. There's either two things that are going on with the guards down to Menos going Bayo. One thing is usually counterpicking with the guards down to the stage. 
Usually Bayonetic and also Cloud have a lot of situations in which combos and layouts work on Battlefield. The second thing is also a mentality recheck. I've seen Menos a lot of times go Bayonetta even after losing a game. That's full point of, I need to reset. I know that I messed up the last game. I just need to do what's right, the next game going on, so that I at least be able to reset my brain. Someone who doesn't want to even risk the idea of getting tilted. So definitely trying to take the set seriously and try to see if this switch is able to work out. Some Definitely some excellent info you have there as we get here into game number three. Early lead looking like it's going to Maki and Danny, but still pretty even at this point. Mm -hmm. Good to see how tried the situation. And I think uh, it's really good for Team Maki and Danny to, when they can get those 1v1 situations on either corner of the stage, because that's when they can really, sh you know, let their their singles advantage shine as opposed to, you know, maybe where Menos and Moss had more practice together in a team format. Yeah. But this is a little bit of a little bit of a counterpoint. I will say one thing that is hard to deal with. Sora on the stage can do a lot of turtling, and not just that, but a lot of off stage with regards down to Thungaga and just delays. So it's going to be a little bit more of a trickier task to lock down Maki in this situation. Yeah, of course. I like that point right there. Obviously, the stage very big underneath the stage, which lets uh, Sora play around a lot more than he might be able to on a stage like Town and City. Ooh, back here from Maz accidentally taking off his teammate. So, yep, just seems as if the synergy from Danny and Makabas is able to work off and just able to separate the two has been able to do a really good job. I like Maki, you know, kind of playing Gunner there to Ooh, hold on to that Oh my god! Impeccable! Maz locked down one opponent and said, all right, my job is done, I gotta do the next one. Took Danny, then took Maki just like that. Excellent awareness there from Maz. And that just completely shifted the entire tone of the game see how they can convert off of this. Maki in a bit of a tricky situation, but that aggressive Blue Zaga gonna bail him out for now. Now we have Moss and Menos in the corner. Oh, okay. Uh, Danny catching Moss off guard with that. Yeah, a lot of clouds will either do a lot of the situations, either want to jump in with those aerials or they want to like land in with the four there. Danny just catching that perfect jump with the guards down to limit. And sometimes you have to worry about not just being too conditioned. You have to watch for what your opponent's going for. On the situation, Dax did that gonna separate the two. Oh, I like the Here idea from Moss to like stop the like crash hots to end up like going into an up smash, but not able to get the hit in time. Ooh, Danny, uh, very smartly I think throwing Menos into Moss there to disrupt the edge guard on Maki, and Maki's actually gonna be able to get that um, reversal on Menos, take off that stock. There was actually an edge guard situation in which like the third hit of Psy B left Maki insanely open. But Mendoz massively hesitated with those dash dances right. and just completely missed the opportunity. Now when it goes from a 3 to 1 stock game, it's now back even. And this could completely mess them up in this game. Oh, Maki trying to do a double duty there. Danny on the other side of the stage waiting. Almost getting taken out by his teammate there. Ooh, I don't know exactly what happened with Mendoz there, but we got a little bit... Kind of got a team game. kill there though, but we got a 1v1 situation, and I gotta say, I do think um, massive advantage to Maki here, but we'll see what Moss can do. Of course, one thing in this matchup, if it is an even game, Sora does have issues the way he can approach, but now this is Sora the one that's able to turtle. So it's gonna be such a tricky position to able to get the stock off. And, and then, I don't think your DI is gonna be good enough to save you from that. Nope, no DI in the world will be able to do that. That's just a tricky situation. Sora with the lead could just turtle, wait for you to overextend, and then just catch you either with a Faraga, up B, anything. I honestly think that one stock that, I think that one stock that Minos missed, kind of cost him that game. Right, especially after that big play from us. Yeah. But in the end, a pretty even game, so I definitely don't think, you know, they have anything... I don't think they need to, you know, be worried about uh, game four being a blowout here. I could definitely see that how it working off. However, now you realize that game three, I always say that's the flex game. Right. Because that situation, even if you, like, win this next one, your opponent has to counter pick advantage to at least change it up and even change up the game plan. So that is definitely something you don't want to happen. They want to see if at least you're able to get into this game. All of right. course, this is a best of five with regard to it being top eight. So we we'll have to see how these people can at least change it up, get the adaption going, close up some of the situations, and get yourself back to the game. Armas playing a very aggressive out the gate. Not really working out for him, but 
I think at this point, it kind of may be a little bit of a mentality thing. Don't you think we should have really been able to take that game? I want to be at least able to show I'm at least a player that can at least handle these type of situations better. But that kind of can get to your own head. You start to at least play a little bit more unga bunga, and you start running into a little bit more of these hitboxes. So Masa's going to have to be a little bit careful, as well as Minos, to not let that mentality get there off from that last game. Ooh, okay, good um, awareness there for Moss to drop that side B, looking, seeing that Maki was looking for the F-Smash. That was a big edge card situation from there. I actually think that Maki could have gone up with the up B, but not able to get it. Forward Smash able to take that side, and now it seems as if Red Team's going to be able to at least get a good lead in the situation. We'll see. Because the uh, Green Team definitely still playing with most of the stage on their side. But as I say that, Maki and Danny advancing, Ooh. and now it's going to be 6-4 to four on the stock count. Yep. I see a lot of times when I play against Sword, the most favorite burst option a lot of those times is that dash attack. Boss just waited for Maki to at least say, I want to okay. get a hit, I want to get a hit. And that was a prime time. Got that grabbed up smash confirmed there to take Moss's stock. Good situation too. And you see it again there. Danny's going to be the one playing the stock tank. It's just been working super well ever since game two. I like that. Uh, Menos realizing that that sort of back throw is laggy. Going to be able to get some extra credit off of it. Oh, Cats in the jump read. They're covering so much of the stage. Moss barely able to recover there. Cats in a lease of life. But that jump able to catch it up again. Yeah, Danny realizing that Moss wanted to go to that platform and stuffing him out. Oh my Fair goodness. one F tilt gonna take that stock off of Menos. And I was just thinking back to that last game when you said like maybe it wasn't an issue with the stage, it was just an issue with gameplay between the two opponents. Right. And even then, just that little change in the game in which they're helping each other out while being able to keep on with their lives has just been so phenomenal. And to be able to help them like dominate the set so much better in this game. Yeah, and, and I, I can't help but think, you know, maybe Olimar wasn't the uh, right play here. Maybe Menno should have had a little bit more confidence in the Bayo. As Moss here is uh, stuck in between them and Menno is not really doing much to help him out. So we're looking at a 4 to 1 situation here, looking pretty dire for Moss and Menos. Honestly, at this point, they're looking lights out against a team like these, the best in the regions. How are you able to kick this off? That's well, a nice that's a one play to start. Oh, oh. Maki tried his best to save him, but not gonna be. Yeah, the up B actually taking that life. However, at this point, really, you don't have much room for error. Can't really land. This is a really good stage for Cloud. But at this point, what can you really do other than just hope for a godlike read? Now, up to, never That's mind. That's gonna be it right there, I do believe. Oh, maybe not. I was gonna say, up to, um, up down B was able to at least maybe able to get a stock at like 35%. Right. Yeah, I definitely like um, the call there, letting Maki be the one to go off. Yeah, oh, Maki's okay. the one to do that. <laughs> I see the smiles from both of those two. Able to take that set three to one.